Rambo First Blood Part 2. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to carry this the whole time. <laughs> Hiya, yeah, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Rambo First Blood Part 2. It's not the second part of the review for the First Blood, but it's the second movie that's called First Blood Part 2. All right, clear enough? Clear enough. So, as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. No real furry in this one. So, moving on. Uh, bad. The, I'm sure the Foley guys were doing the best they could with the technology that they had at the time, but the sound effects in this movie, especially of, like, trips into the jungle and everything else, like, it, it's kind of bad. There, <laughs> it is wanting. There needs to be more noises and sounds and rustling and whatnot, and there wasn't. So, that could, that could be useful. But, on the good side, they... They did a lot better with the audio for the dialogue this time around. I'm not saying it was perfect the whole time, but they did a lot better than on the first movie. So, yeah, I'd say that was a big improvement. Also, um, it's a little difficult for me to look back to see exactly how this movie fits in the uh, development of action movies, but I want to say that this was one of the early ones, and so a lot of the cliché type things that happened in this movie may not necessarily have been as cliched uh, back when this movie was being made. I mean, you still had the 80s thing where everything blows up, <laughs> you know, but that's to be expected. But in terms of, like, some of the some of the plot points I don't think were as tried and true um, as they, nowadays, like, as they were back then. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a little bit, you could kind of see that some of the things that they were doing were new. And I will say that I liked how they shot the action sequences a lot. Like, I know that the camera rigging and, and, and whatnot was, was not as advanced as it is today. Like, steady cams being a thing was, was totally new for one of the early Rocky movies. And so the, the camera angles that they had for some of the action was really good. And in fact, um, obviously it wasn't quite the long takes and everything else of, like, Tom Cruise and the latest Mission Impossible movie. But there was some scenes of Rambo in a helicopter and... You know, I was like, oh, those, that looks, that looks like he's really in a helicopter. So I liked that. I thought it was, thought it was good. Um, and I also really appreciated that they brought Richard Crenna back and that he, he, they didn't decide to change up his character between the first and the second one to suddenly have him be the bad guy. Um, so yeah, they still had Richard Crenna being like, hey, you know, there's this mission. We think you're perfect for it. So come on, let's go. And then. Rambo's like, you're the, you're the only one that I trust here, and I like that, um, you know, throughout, throughout, you know, from the first movie all the way, uh, you know, to that point, it, it's true, he's the only one that Rambo could trust, and he did trust him. Um, you know, obviously there's, there's a little bit of the, uh, the James Bond thing going on in terms of like, hey, we have all the modern technology you could ever want, and also you're gonna meet up with a local national who is, you know, happens to be uh, some hot female that maybe you do or maybe you don't form some type of relationship with. Um, so, yeah, if you've seen the James Bond movies, you can kind of tell where it's likely going. Um, but I had a good time. I also enjoyed, and, you know, this is minor minor spoiler for like a little ways through um, before he even gets to the, the jungly jungle part, but... Um, I, I think it's funny that they're like, oh, the modern technology you can want, and then it's like, computers with noises and lights, that's neat, and then he jumps out of the aircraft, and it's like, oh, he has to cut away all the modern technology, so you don't even get to see, like, most of whatever his James Bond, like, laser watches type things could have been, because, uh, he lost him, but he's getting out of the aircraft, so <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um, which also reminded me of the Mission Impossible, where, like, everything goes wrong, and he has to rely on the original stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'll say, if you like 80s action movies, like, if you like the Arnold Schwarzenegger ones, if you like, you know, the, the Rambos of the day, you're gonna have a good time with this one. Even if you liked, you know, mid-90s with a little bit better audio and whatnot, like, you're, you're gonna have a good time with this movie if you just sit back and relax, and, and it, it's a good time. Like, there's, there's some scenes where... If you've seen Predators with Adrian Brody, you'll be like, oh, I see where they got some of this stuff from. So, yeah, it's it's an it's a really good movie for an 80s action movie. 
It doesn't have quite the emotional significance of the first one, uh, but they do try and tread a little bit towards that way with, like, you know, how bureaucracy and how things can go and, like, what the what the reasoning behind certain things might be. So I liked it. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a fun popcorn flick. You're going to have a good time if you like Sylvester Stallone. Alrighty, thanks for coming. Hope to see you at the next one. Bye!